The reason why I became an astrologer is not only to help people or change their lives, but to excite people, to get them back into a vibe that they've always known they were, but they somehow are not living in their current life today. As a DJ, I'm all about inspiring people through sound and getting them excited. And in many ways, astrology and house music has been combined through me to really get people back into a way that feels right, that feels empowered, that feels like the most exciting adrenaline rush ever. Because when you connect with yourself, when you know thyself, you are empowered. When you're on a dance floor and the lights are banging and the sound's pumping and the bass is going, you feel empowered. It started with girls. I mean, I wanted to know the whole reason why they were with me. Like, are they supposed to be with me? Are they the one? I always was so interested in the one. And I was also so interested in the one of myself. Like, am I the one? Am I this special person? Because I've always felt very special and I wanted to know why that was. So, digging deeper, I started to reveal that Astrology held every answer that I was ever looking for in my life. So, is anybody into astrology out here? Who's <laughs> <laughs> into astrology, really? You know, the one thing about astrology is a lot of people have it wrong. You know, uh, it's not just planets and this weird guy with the turban on in the backseat of a car telling you that your life's gonna be horrible in two weeks. So let's tell the viewers um, what you're offering. What is your service? Like, what do you do for your viewership? For my viewership, I do daily astrology horoscopes. And I've taken the horoscope model, which has been around for literally hundreds of years in newspapers and all over the place, and brought it to a subscription-based model where now people can subscribe to daily content now that features daily horoscopes for their sun sign. Hey, unless it's a solar eclipse. Tuesday. <laughs> oh. And I'm putting the energy meter at the extreme position. Whoop, 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 whoop. I used to play here all the time. This is kind of where I got my DJ start. I'm an ugly mess if I don't eat. When I don't eat, I'm an asshole. I'm kind of bougie like that, you know? I don't like, I don't like stairs. I like escalators. I don't like escalators, I like elevators. Yeah, yeah sure, because I'm on in like 30 minutes to yeah. DJ. Oh, your name is... What's up, dog? Are you Good to see you, bro. It's been a minute. It's been a minute. Yeah. He's going to take care of that yeah. for you right now. Okay, great. Hi. Nice to meet you. David, David, Christy. Christy. Hi, nice to meet you. Pleasure. Leo King, that's what we call okay. him. Uh, Tonight I did my show in Denver. It went really well. The people were amazing. They came from all over the place. Some people drove five hours. Some people drove three hours. I even heard that somebody flew to come, which was pretty mind-blowing for me. Um, and it humbled me quite a lot. And this event showed me even more about myself, and it really got me in touch with people who really care about me and really care about what I'm doing. And and sometimes it was a little hard to accept. I've been noticing on the road when I'm touring and when I'm meeting all these people that sometimes it's hard to allow the praise or sometimes it's hard to allow the, the, the appreciation. And I'm learning to open up more with that. So now I have David Palmer, otherwise known as the Leo King, here to talk about horoscopes and tell us about our loved ones and our potential future loved ones. Mm -hmm. What's up? What's up? How you doing? Oh my gosh. How cool is it that we're both Palmers? I know. Yeah, it's the Palmer amazing. gang up in here. It also is a little bougie. Don't tell me no bad. It's a little bougie, I'll be honest, okay? <laughs> like, it's a little bit bougie, but it's really good for manifesting. People might be unhappy if they show up and they don't let them in, but it's what happens when the Leo King tours New York. <laughs> so we'll see how that goes. Other than that, I'm just trying to remain calm. I've just had a little bit of tension. I got a lot of work on my plate. I gotta go film those TV shows on Monday and Tuesday here in New York, and the producers just told me I gotta do a lot of shots, so I'm gonna be shooting full time, and I gotta get up all my premium videos, and I gotta shoot a webinar all this weekend. So there's no such thing as vacation even when you tour. You work the whole entire time, and I'm noticing that here in New York, I'm working more than I've ever worked in my fucking life. You know, but I'm getting it going. What is the best sign in terms of girlfriend you've had? 
Well, the best sign is all the signs. I love all the signs, right? Because Leo. All of them. Well, Leo is all about love. I'm just going to stop you right there because right now you're looking at me like you are the lion and I have on a pork chop necklace. <laughs> I'm going to need you to stop it. Is this anything? When it comes to the Zodiac, the man Hollywood trusts to steer them right is astrologer David Palmer. I believe that celebrities are attracted to astrology and the metaphysical because they're very open people. Celebrities want to find their power of self. How hard you hit it? <laughs> wow, okay, first of all, how hard you bang a set? <laughs> wow. This can be said in many ways. We are in Scorpio season, by the way, it is Scorpio. For the fact that your solar arc ascendant has reached your sun is showing that you're about to finally become and reach your identity's path, purpose, and understanding. Because the, the ascendant and the sun are the only two that deal with core identity and persona and projection of that persona. And, and it's a never ending, it's no matter how much you try to unlearn it, or try to go away from it. It keeps getting yeah, you back. Yeah, pulls you back in. Yep, that's it. And pulls the you more charts in. you look at every day, the more you learn, the more you get consumed by it. I know. Too, so. And you have to learn through doing a lot of charts. Exactly. Mm -hmm. The more charts you look at, the better you get at the combinations. Because the then you can really see in others yeah. and what, what you see, and then you see all those patterns. It really is just patterns and... Yeah. Yeah, you become a pattern fanatic. Yep, see the patterns and everything and then you're just screwed. Exactly.